Mind Academy Sports, where we teach athletes the connection between their mind and performance. Listen, we are changing lives. We are changing lives. We are helping hundreds of athletes worldwide. Listen, we do not just uh, uh, meet in person. We Anywhere you are on the globe, we can meet with you. We meet via Zoom, one-on-one -on -one consulting, one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I'm telling you, we can change your entire life. We help athletes hit the zone. We help athletes hit flow. If you are struggling to get in this zone, we will teach you how. Step by step, we will teach you how to actually get into flow states every single time. And then as you consistently get into the flow state, you can actually achieve the zone. You are working hard. You are shooting shots. You are working after practice. No matter the sport, you are working because ultimately you want to enter that feel-good state, that flow state, and you want to dominate. You want it to transcend the game, and we can help you do that. More importantly, if you have any level of mental interference, mental blocks, anything, and you know that the mind, the mental part of the game is holding you back. We will help destroy any, any mental block in four such as or less. There's people who have problems of not playing uh, in games like they do in practice. People have problems with hesitating, uh, uh, not being aggressive. Uh, some people even have emotional problems, anger problems where they can't get over. Uh, we help you reach anything mentally that you want to get to any uh, goal that you have, we will help you get there. I don't care if you're youth, middle school, high school, college, or professional. There's nothing that changes about the brain. A thought never changes. A cell never changes, right? We can all get you to that level because you still you work with the same thing. The brain don't change whether you're a youth athlete or professional, okay? So this time, this, this video, we're going to talk about the ego is the enemy. The ego is the enemy, the first one. We talked about some good aspects of the ego and how you can utilize it. If you are outmatched, there are some times, some periods and points where it will be necessary for you not to be real with yourself and you can kind of use the ego to your advantage. But this, this, this video, I want to talk about the element of control, the element of control. So listen, I'm going to tell you, no matter what sport I play, whether it be basketball or football, muscle memory is king. I would, no, I would work so hard because I understood that muscle memory <coughs> was king. If I was a basketball player, I'm going to shoot 250 to 300 shots a day. I don't care if I was in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade or I was playing high school. I'm going to shoot 250 shots to 300 shots a day leading up to my game. Why? Because I understand that as I work on my shot, whoo, as I work on my form, then that thing is going to become automatic. That thing is going to become automatic, and guess what? It's going to get easier. It's real hard in practice, but guess what? When the game time comes, I'm about to be able to pull up from anywhere, and I'm going to be able to knock that shot down. If it was football, I'm going to run heels. I'm going to work with my speed ladder because I want this thing to become second nature, and guess what? I want to develop another level of control that these other people don't have. I want to develop an edge. Okay, so not one point when I was training did I say to myself, I got this. I'm so good. I'm so talented. I don't need to work on my jump shot. I know if you're a basketball player, hopefully, if you're a basketball player, you know that's not how basketball works. You have to put shots up every single day. It don't matter the shots you put up last week. It don't matter the shots you put up yesterday. It matters the shots you put up today. Because muscle, you have to train your muscles to remember. And when you do that, wow, you can predict it. You have control. You understand, okay, if my shot is a little bit off to the left, I got control. I know I can just put it right back online. If it was a little bit too far, I can control it and I can bring it back in, okay? You can kind of control it if you have worked on it, right? So it's the same for any sport. You work hard. You do one skill after another skill so once you get to the game it's easy you don't have to think about it and guess what you have control if i don't work on my game and i don't work on my shot the shot is everywhere i can't control it because you didn't do the work beforehand so the same way physically we understand that we have to 
uh, work on our muscles and work on our muscle memory. So then our skills is going to is going to work out. So when we get to the game, we can hit that that place of flow because we work on our game. We understand that physically. But what about emotionally? So this is what I'm saying. You want to learn the right ways to train so that you will have emotional control. Right, so you know how to get into those states of confidence. So we all love those times where we feel like we're in rhythm, we feel like we're in flow, and our creativity starts to come out. And you say, you, you say it within yourself, "I'm there, I'm there." When, when, when you hit that place of rhythm, you hit that place of flow. You start being creative. But see, the problem with these situations is. They're elusive. It doesn't happen all the time. It don't happen when you want it to happen. Sometimes they happen at the end of the third quarter. It happen in the fourth quarter when the game might be over. You may be getting um, blown out at that point. Now the rhythm and the flow state want to kick on. Well, it should have kicked on in the first in the first quarter. So what we teach at Mighty Academy Sports is what we teach is we teach you how to reverse engineer that process so you know how to get to the flow state before you start. See, the reason that you mentally train is so when you get to that moment, when you get to that championship game, when you get into a game situation and everybody is watching you, right? And you have, I'll get into that in the next video. I'll get into that. But basically, the reason that you want to do it is so you have emotional control, you know how to turn the confidence on so you're not in fear. You have, you'll, ter- you'll learn how to turn the aggressive button on so you're not hesitating. The same level of creativity you have playing with your boys in the park, you're going to have the same level of creativity when you get to the game, right? So that's important. That's important. That's important. So the ego is the enemy. So what the ego will do is the ego will lie to you and you'll say, I'm more athletic than these people. I'm... I'm more talented than these people if you're in high school. I don't have to work on my game. This thing comes easy to me. I got heart. That's one thing I always use. I got heart. I'm tougher than everybody. I don't need that mental stuff. It's going to be the it's going to be your downfall. Because yes, during the regular season, all that stuff may work out. But when you get to the postseason, when you meet your match, when you meet the person who's 6'5", just like you. When you meet the person who's just as athletic, just like you, and their whole team, you know, you may be the best person on your team, but they got four people like that on their team. And now, it's going to take everything in you to maintain that level of confidence, regardless of what everybody else thinks. When your team is down by 10, do you still have that same level of confidence? See, this is why you need to work on your game. And the true essence of who you are comes out when pressure is applied. So just like how you are physically and how you gotta work on your game, the same you gotta the same way you have to work on your game mentally. As the level of talent increases, right? So as the level of talent increases between each team and everybody is a great athlete, the mental game is the great separator. It's not your physical talent anymore. It's how mentally strong you are, how mentally tough you are. And this is where the game is moving. This is where the game is moving. Every single game is moving. People are starting to understand that the mental game is key. You may be ahead of the curve right now, but people are starting to understand the mental game is the key to everything in living the year. Um, you can work on your game all you want to, but you know, if you have stress that's kicking off or start making a couple bad plays, you may be outmatched on the other team, guess what? Everything that you did from the past, everything that you worked on is not going to matter. So, if you are a parent and you understand that your son or daughter has these issues, can benefit from their mental game, if if, if you understand they can benefit from it, they have a mental mental interference, they have a mental problem, they have great potential on the inside, but they just need to they just need help mentally. And I want you to get in contact with us. We are at MindAcademySports.com. Uh, there's plenty of links that have uh, our number where you can contact us. And we promise that if you know, your athlete is willing
willing to put in the work, then we promise that any mental block can be eliminated within four sessions or less. If you are a professional athlete and you want to guarantee that your field goal percentage uh, stays at a high level, you want to guarantee that you uh, can keep playing at a high level, that you have that edge over your competition, I want you to get in contact with, with us too. It doesn't matter if you're a youth athlete all the way up to professional. The brain never changes, cells never changes, thoughts never change. It's the same thing. So get at us and uh, just remember the mindset, mindset is key. Mindset is key. Yeah, so this is part two. Ego is the